Nicio from Gunmart TV and I've got a rather lovely air gun here to show you today. This is um, the one of the latest BSA R10 TH um, and, it, and where the TH stands for thumb hole. This is the TH um, Super Carbine and uh, I believe they also give it the CCS um, suffix as well. Now it's a, it's a rather tasty air gun. Obviously the Minelli woodwork um, is sort of industry standard these days, but it's, it's lovely deep cut checkering and uh, rosewood cap on the thumb hole, that classic BSA swell. It's, it's really a very tasty air gun, but there's a lot of um, features going on as well. Obviously John Bokit, a lot of these air gun companies have sort of resident um, technical advisors and John Bokit who's a very clever air gun designer, had a big input on the R10 uh, right from the start. And um, these are now, these are regulated actions um, with, and on this particular version, they've put a larger air bottle on as well. So um, it, there's a massive increase in the shot count and uh, it really is quite, quite an air gun. I mean, obviously I do HFT and you see, now see um, R10s on the circuit people are one shoots with them so they BSA have really upped their game in the last um, couple of decades and uh, this is this is a serious bit of kit so look at going across you've got uh, the usual sort of mat um, breech block you've got um, multi-shot magazine system BSA's magazines we'll take a look at that in a moment the what they call the bolus uh, cocking bolt which is just a nice oversized very comfortable bolt um, two stage trigger with an adjustable sort of semi match trigger shoe, which is all very nice. Um, full length bow shroud and silencer, and then what they call your buddy bottle, uh, which is um, again, buddy bottles tend to give large shot counts. Before I forget the statistics on this, um, and I've had over the um, chronograph. 250 shots within 25 feet per second, which is pretty damn good going, uh, which sort of says it all with this. Um, but we'll, we'll take a closer look at some other features. So, uh, as we've established, this is one hell of a tasty uh, looking air gun. Um, there's a lot of adjustable features on this as well. Um, so if we look towards the, the stock end, um, you see we've got the what BSA call the black touch version. Um, so you've got black touch, which is basically rubber, very thin rubber coated wood. Um, and this is an adjustable cheek piece. So you'll stick a, an Allen key in there and then you can raise and lower the comb and uh, set your eye scope relief perfectly, which is obviously brilliant. Then looking to the butt, the socket head goes in there. Um, this is a show rifle, so it's got a little bit rusty there. But uh, you'd stick that in and then obviously again, you can raise and lower the, uh, the butt pin sort of Wagyu style. I really like that sort of ultra concave shape. It really hugs the shoulder. Um, and it's also adjustable for canters, you can see. So you can offset the angle. Um, and again, it just all helps with setting this, like the rifle, so it feels totally all, you know, it literally feels like an extension of the body, as they say. And it helps that ultra comfortable shot. And if you're comfortable, you're gonna be more accurate. Uh, moving towards here, you've got a safety, manual safety catch. If you want that, so you've got um, safe or fire. Pretty, that's pretty straightforward. And then we'll just look at the magazine system. Now, as it's worth noting here, as the bolt goes forward, it sort of drops automatically down. That's a really neat, in use, it's a really neat feel. It's um, sort of weighted, nicely weighted, and it locks down. And it's just, this is a very um, smooth cycling rifle to use. So you cock the, cock the action. And then there's a magaz uh, magazine retaining clip, so you just push that forwards, and now the magazine can come out. And this is mag uh, BSA's latest 10-shot magazine style. They colour code them, so um, this is a 177 model, so it's uh, blue. If you get 2-2, two -two, then that inner drum is uh, red anodised. But it's all very neat and um, quite efficient. It's on the usual sort of sprung-loaded system. So that goes in. Already, I'll just fire that off. We've only got air. Um, and now looking to the front, as I say, you've got a two stage trigger there, 
new cupboard. This is the say it's the CCS suffix relates to customer configurable shroud. So you basically got a full length shroud and silence all as one. And what you do is you unscrew it. That knurled part should stay. You unscrew that. I, when I got this rifle, I've had these through before, but with this one, um, BSA didn't supply me with the extra little collar, so I'm afraid I can't reconfigure it, but I can just show you how most of the process. So that pulls off, take, you take that assembly off, then you'd unscrew, the, there's a, an O-ring there which holds the internals of the um, shroud in place. You unscrew that, and then normally you'd unscrew your silencer part, um, and then another collar goes onto there, which then threads onto the standard uh, half inch thread. So it's all very easy. And then what you, what happens then is you're in, you're left with let's put that back in place. You're left with then a silencer um, and your uh, barrel. You have a blanking collar that goes onto there, so that's all nicely sealed off. And then you've just got your your barrel and a silencer. But say. That is, a, it's purely cosmetic, really, but uh, it does enable you to quite significantly change the look of the gun. And um, a lot of the time, I must say, as an air gun, massive air gun enthusiast, we do tend to play around half the time just purely for the looks of the gun, as well as pushing for accuracy. So it gives you, it's another sort of um, asset to these rifles. But it's a very, very attractive gun and very, very uh, capable. And so I've had some significant accuracy out of these and they're winning competitions so um, what more can you say so that's the BSA R10 TH thumb